how has the landscape changed when it comes to dating because of dating apps? Yeah, I think dating apps have made dating so much harder. Yes, I agree. Like on one hand, you have access to millions of people you wouldn't sure. otherwise meet. Great. That's the benefit. But people are always looking for the bigger, better deal. Yes. And the apps are so tricky because you might be going out there really looking for marriage where the person you're on the date with is looking for something casual, right. or maybe they're still in a relationship, but they just wanted to feel Listen, it out. Right. So it's incredibly time consuming. The average online dater spends 12 hours a week online. It's like a part-time job. So you're wow, going that's on, a lot of time. It is so much time and so demoralizing and frustrating and exhausting because you're putting yourself out there. You're going on these dates. And then in two seconds, you realize you don't align on the basics. Mm -hmm. So it feels like such a waste. You think it's a numbers game, but it's actually not. Because what you should be doing is intentionally dating the right people. So you're better off going on fewer, better dates with a matchmaker, or right. even if you're dating online, like really dating intentionally than to think it's a numbers game because it's not. Okay. So this is really interesting. We're getting to a point here. Okay. So the work that you're doing, like if someone comes to you, they're probably going to save time, right? Because you're the company, this is part of the service. Yes. The groundwork of doing all this is handled by you guys versus when you're online, you're doing the work yourself. So you are spending all those hours on it versus probably taking care of yourself, right? Because yes. we hear how you should love yourself and self-care is most mm -hmm. important. And that's what, you know, if that's the energy you put out, that's the energy you're going to get. So all the time that people are spending on dating apps, it's probably cut in half or whatever it is if they're going yeah. through a matchmaking company like yours. Yeah, that's exactly it. So in dating, you're either going to pay with your time or there your money. Is. There it is. So you can pay with your time and spend the 12 hours a week online dating. And probably at some point you're going to meet your person. Sure. Or you pay financially and matchmaking can be an investment, but right. then you save all the time and you're going on those fewer, better dates. This totally makes sense. Okay, so who comes to you? Mm -hmm. Is it the person that wants to find marriage? Is it the casual dater? What would you say is the person that's seeking out your services? Usually it's successful, busy professionals who are ready for a relationship. So typically they've focused on their career and now they're ready to settle down. Like they're in that stage and they want to meet other people who are looking for a serious commitment. That's the demo. We work with a wide range. It's like 20 sure. to 80 like LGBTQ. Like, but the theme is successful, busy professionals. <laughs> this is so good to know. <laughs> what would you say is the biggest difference between a dating app and what you do? Mm -hmm. A real human <clears throat> matchmaker. Yeah. I mean, a dating app is basically like shopping. Mm -hmm. And I do think you can find your person online. It just is going to be incredibly time consuming and challenging and you have to be up for the challenge and make sure you go in with an open mind. So right. try to swipe right more right. than you're swiping left. Um, but the matchmaking is just helpful to have a third party help you, especially an expert, see through your blind spots and help you become a better dater and learn about yourself. I think we just ultimately save you a ton of time and energy Mm -hmm. And you end up being a lot more present on the dates because you're going on fewer, better dates. So you can right. really bring your best version. Mm -hmm. We're online dating. It's exhausting. So you're not always bringing the best of yourself. And you're also giving coaching along the way, which I think is extremely beneficial than a dating app because... You know, I think a lot of times when we're dating and we're out here, we're asking our friends the same questions and we're kind of just, mm -hmm. you know, pulling from the same group and hearing it from a dating coach, right, along the mm -hmm. way, hearing things that maybe you don't want to hear, but you need to hear it, I think is extremely beneficial. Yes. A dating app isn't going to tell you that. It's so true. And a lot of what we do is tough love. Like we truly love you and we want you to right. end up in a relationship, but you're Friends won't give that to you. Right. And and usually they're not the best at giving love advice. Love advice. Because you'll come back and say, Oh, he didn't call he he showed up like 30 minutes late to the date. And they're like, Oh girl, get him out of here. Right. He is He's not done. right for it's you. Done. He, he doesn't done. respect you. He hates you. Yeah. So they're very quick to <laughs> shoo like people out of your life where we get to see both sides. We know so much more right. about the person. And so it's just helpful to have a third party that doesn't know you 
as well. Exactly. <laughs> that's not so invested. That's not always going to take your side, even when you're wrong. Yes. Your friends love you and they want the best they for you. They want to protect you. <laughs> they don't always give the best advice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 